You meant to push Toga, but you disconnected the auto throttle instead. And now you're pitching up and you don't have the thrust to meet you. Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. In this video, I would like to just discuss the placement of the push button for Toga on the 737. And really, I, I want to commend Airbus here for a moment because it's more intuitive, the selection of Toga on the Airbus. Because ultimately, when do you select Toga? On a takeoff or go around, translation, simply put, when I need more thrust. Maybe a wind shear recovery, right? Maybe a GPWS, I'm going to apply more thrust. And so in the Airbus world, Toga selection is simple. Just go to full power, add more thrust, and you get takeoff, go around thrust. Well, in the Boeing world, or at least certainly on the 7.3, I have to push the button. And the thing about where the button is located is that typically, yes, we can use either our middle or pointer finger to push it, but then also at our thumb and pinky, we have the auto throttle disconnect. And so sometimes I see pilots trying to get to toga, but mistakenly hit the auto throttle disconnect, and then they pitch up in anticipation of following the flight director bar to a positive rate of climb, and yet they actually disconnected the auto throttle and the thrust levers are still back at the approach thrust setting, roughly 65% and one, rather than having commanded Toga to take the auto throttle up to the go around or the takeoff or go around thrust setting. And so be careful. And the main thing I'm gonna share with you really is mindset on approach. And you can apply the same thing that I'm gonna share with you on the takeoff. When you are approaching the runway, I very much advise that you carry the mindset that I'm gonna end up doing a go around. This will end up being a go around. And in carrying that mindset of this is gonna be a go around, you are less likely to be encountered by that element of surprise, which is ultimately the driving factor that leads you to being somewhat behind on which button you're gonna push. Have the callouts ready. Go around Toga flat 15 in the case of two engines, right? And have that button selection ready in your head so that it doesn't take you by surprise when you get down to mins or to wherever that point may be that you actually end up needing to command Toga. With that being said, we will have a 737 live review here in short order. It's going to be October 18th and 19th. Join me there at the link that you see, onestepprep.com slash live. And if you want to join me for the A320 review, that'll be October 29th and 30th. It'll be a live two-day course. Look forward to doing that here with you straight from the studio. I'll be streaming and I very much look forward to having you there. And of course, as always, you know we're a type rating center. A lot of people for some reason don't know we are a type rating center. We do, we do issue FAA, ATP licenses, and type ratings. And so if you want to come and train with us here, I very much advise you to reach out to our staff, reach out to us on WhatsApp. That's another cool thing we have now is a WhatsApp chat, 305-613-5340 is the phone number for you to message us there. We'll be in touch with you. Or also, of course, if you're in Miami, you can just come by and speak with one of our representatives here. So very much look forward to working with you and hope to see you here in Miami soon. We'll see you in the next video.